folks, I'm Nick Carraway, and on this reunion special of The Great Gatsby, I'm here to get you all the hot gossip that we, that we missed in my tell-all novel. Remember, I value honesty above all else, so we're getting the truth and nothing but the truth here today. And also, we're not in the charming Midwest anymore. This is the Northeast, so we're not softening any blows. Let's get reacquainted with our stars, your favorite high society couple, Daisy Buchanan and Tom. <laughs> Golf legend, Jordan Baker. <laughs> and two extra special surprise guests, Jay Gatsby and Myrtle. <laughs> Can something truly be wrong if everyone else is doing it? 
I suppose a golf career thrives off such principles. I was just musing. How about another question, Jordan? Why did you help to reintroduce Gatsby to Daisy? Were you just looking to mix up some drama, or did you have more pure intentions? It was not an insatiable desire. I'm quite a refined woman. If I needed drama, I know better than to make it myself. I suppose I was just moved by Gatsby's insincerity when he asked me to ask you for help. And perhaps I also felt bad and that my friend was getting played by her husband, but had no fun for herself. Interesting. On the topic of Gatsby being the one to put the idea in your head, let's go back over to him. Gatsby, is it true that you have a bit of an obsession with Daisy? I don't think obsessed is the right word. Right word. It makes me sound like some stalker. I'm not a stalker. I'm Daisy's first love, and Daisy was mine. That's a bond that can never be broken. All of my efforts were simply meant to bring us back together, like we were always meant to be. There's no one who can replace a woman's first love. On that note, why do you love Daisy? What is there not enough? Daisy is simply divine. The closest thing to perfection that you can get. Her beauty outshines all other women. Her sultry charm is simply unmatched. We have this connection. One beyond the bond of first love. I don't know how to explain it in words, but it's this innate yearning, this certainty that my life will never be complete without her. I know she feels that too. That's it. That's not right. First love this, special connection that. Loving you was a useful, was a youthful mistake. She didn't know what you truly were, scum. Unworthy of even being in her presence. I'm more I'm for more true love than you were ever, ever. I took her I first took her kiss, first and don't you forget that I was able to win her again, 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 even though her heart belonged, 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 belonged to you. You're lucky I can't see you. If you're a real man, you'd show yourself and fight me. I suppose your threats aren't going to bring Gatsby out of the shadows just yet, Tom. Take a moment to cool down. Let's go back to the ladies for a few more questions. How about Mrs. Wilson? Myrtle, you knew Tom had a wife when you started your affair with him. So why did you become so incensed when you saw him in the car with another woman? Well, yes, I knew, but that didn't change the fact that I was an insult. Tom loves me, and yet another woman is the one who gets to hang on his shoulder around his friends and sit in the front seat of his car. How would you feel seeing your lover join himself with another woman while your husband locks you up and threatens to send you out west? I was a struck with the unfairness of it all. Fair enough. Speaking of the yellow car, Daisy, do you know why Gatsby didn't stop after he hit Myrtle that night? What? Why are you asking me that? Well, you were the only one with him, so you would be the one to know, right? Yes, that's how it happened. Did you hear differently? No, no, I'm just making sure I got my facts straight. It is a tragedy how that happened, though. The way Gatsby got killed by Wilson afterwards. I suppose he deserved it. He killed, so he got killed. Isn't that fair? Of course he did. Why is that even a question? I'm asking Daisy. Wasn't it just horrible how he killed that woman? Did he really deserve to die? No, he wasn't horrible. I can tell that you know Nick. Stop this. Please don't torture your cousin. I don't know anything. I'm just stating the facts. Gatsby deserved to die. He was a horrible bootlegging murderer. No, stop insulting him. I can tell you know the truth. I can tell you know you're lying. I'm lying? What am I lying about, Daisy? You know I was driving, you know I hit her, and you know Gatsby cared for me. Stop it, stop it right now. He didn't deserve it, he didn't deserve it. Yeah. Gatsby didn't stop because he didn't want me to get in trouble. He wanted to take all the blame and just put me to sleep safely. You are a horrible cousin, Nick. Why would you do that? Entirely truthful, but I do hold the truth in high regard. What? What is all this? Why would you admit that? Why do you even care if that bootlegger's name is put through the mud? He deserves it, even if he wasn't the one driving. Stop, Tom. Please stop. <laughs> hey! Don't put your hands on her! It seems Gatsby has decided to reveal himself. Young man, huh? <laughs> what? Why is nothing hitting you? Tom, just because you can see him doesn't change the fact he's all gauzy and dead. I thought your wife would be the dumb one, Tom. And Myrtle shows herself too. Dumb? Did you ever call me dumb? I wish I were dumb. It's a good thing to be. But I don't appreciate having the label put on me in a derogatory way. Come at me, ghost! <gasps> oh, it seems like Daisy has found a loophole through the no touching ghost policy. Holy items do not apply. She may not be Catholic, but she sure knows how to use that rosary. 
Jay-Z, no, don't sully yourself by sinking to this level. Don't concern yourself with the actions of my wife. I'll concern myself with whatever I want. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Um, well, it seems like things have gotten a bit out of hand here. Um, so, I'll be right back. We're back. This has been a very productive reunion special, don't you guys think? Uh, well, however you feel, we do just have one more question to wrap things up. Considering all that we've gone through together, do you guys think your experiences in The Great Gatsby has changed you for worse or for better? Let's start with Daisy. I don't know, truly, if anything that has happened with Gatsby can be called good. He brought a lot of joy into my life and a lot of pain. I felt love, but I also felt lost. I've become wiser because I knew him, but I can't say that this new knowledge of the world is a good thing. I truly believe ignorance is bliss. So at the end of it all, I guess I'm changed for the worst. I wish Gatsby never touched my life. I could wish I could be just a bit more foolish than I am now. Tom, nothing good has come out of that food liquor getting involved in my life. That is one thing I'm completely certain of, and I'll say nothing more about it. Gatsby? No time I ever spent with Daisy could be bad. That means that every product of my time with Daisy must be good. I wish she felt the same, but even if she doesn't, I'll never let these feelings go. All the good and the bad, they're always haunted. I suppose then I can't call any of the events fully good or bad. I've been changed in, changed in a way that is distinctly bittersweet. Myrtle? If Gatsby hadn't gotten involved, I don't think I'd be dead. I wish things could have just stayed the way they were. I wish he never came by in that car. I hate him, even if he's dead too. If Tom had been with Daisy, he wouldn't have stopped. I believe they wouldn't have hit me. So bad, this is the only real answer for me. Jordan? The stakes have been low for me. Much like you, Nick, I simply watched the most dramatic thing unfold. I think I learned a thing or two about the world while doing so. Seeing it as I'm now engaged and have put the whole thing behind me, I can take those lessons and say that I'm better off now. How about you, Nick? Experiencing the Great Gatsby has been a life-altering experience for me. Uh, I've learned a lot and I've become very disillusioned with the world but I've also created one of the greatest friendships and met one of the greatest mans I've ever seen. So I guess I'll have to echo my good friend and say that my experience with The Great Gatsby cannot be defined by a binary good or bad. It's distinctly bittersweet. This is The Great Gatsby reunion special. On behalf of all of my special guests and me, your host, Nick Carraway, I bid you Good night.